Hey everyone, it's Anna, and I'm coming back tonight to share another video, follow-up video, to the one I did um, yesterday um, regarding these Brute Fooner 120 oily colored pencils. Um, <clears throat> um, one of the comments on my video was from Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And she asked if I could redo coloring the bunny um, after I sharpened the pencils to a nice sharp point. They were sharpened when um, when I, you know, used them last night, but they were sharpened to a basically a square. So I'll show you the difference. So uh, maybe you can't see that. So you can see how maybe they were um, not quite sharp to a point. They were sharp to a square. Um, so she wanted to know what they performed like if they were um, nicely sharpened like we would um, normally use them. So I said, well, sure, absolutely. I should have done that to begin with. <laughs> so just to recap, um, I colored this bunny um, in um, various different colored pencil brands that I own. Um, so it is stamped on Canson Bristol vellum paper. It's a hundred pound cardstock from Canson, Canson Bristol vellum. And vellum is in regards to the texture or tooth of the paper. So it works really well for colored pencils. Um, and then I also stamped this image here. It's from Amuse and I stamped it, um, all of them in black memento ink. So just so we have the basics covered. Um, so here is the results of the Koi, Koi Noor. I'm not sure how to say that. I'll never say it correctly, I'm sure. Um, but these are woodless pencils. And um, I really like these pencils, actually. I wish they had more colors. They just basically have, I think, 24 colors. So, um, but the whole entire pencil is pigment, which I really like. And they, they work really nice. I actually really enjoy using them. Then I also colored it in my um, old Prismacolors. Uh, the Prismacolors I have are probably, I don't know, over 15 years old, probably not quite 20 years old, um, but, you know, they've been around a day or two, and uh, so that little bunny turned out really cute as well, and then I colored the next one with the Lyra Polycolors, and that little bunny turned out really cute. I think they all turned out really cute, actually, but you can see... Uh, Hopefully there's some differences in the coloring. And then I used my um, design Spectra colors. And those are pencils I've had since college when I was taking art classes. And I love those pencils. They're probably my absolute favorite. <laughs> um, then I used the Brute Fooners. And this is where I colored the bunny using these pencils before they were sharpened. They were just factory sharpened down to that square. So really nice, beautiful color. Um, this is just an example of me um, using a, one of the brown pencils after I sharpened it. And then um, last night I colored it with my Faber-Castell uh, Polychromos. And for some reason, I don't I don't have a very big set of that um, those pencils, I guess. I don't even have any grays, so I had to color my bunny a slightly different color. But his um, little outfit is, is the same. So... So those um, are the bunnies that I did. And now let me go ahead and re-stamp um, another bunny. I'm using the same paper. It's just I don't have room on here, so I'm just using the um, part that I cut off of that original piece. So it is the exact same paper. And um, I sharpened my pencils um, with this little m and um, handheld pencil sharpener. Um, I had tried using, um, I have a Panasonic electric pencil sharpener. Um, and this is what I use for my um, all my other colored pencils. But these square barreled pencils don't fit down in here. So um, I had to get out my little handy dandy handheld one, which is fine. I love this thing. Um, it's made in Germany. And then the um, razor blades, the cut blades here, are also made in Germany. And it's a really high quality um, blade. So And it's inexpensive. I mean, I think this is maybe too... Two dollars, three to three dollars tops, probably at the art supply stores. So, a very inexpensive sharpener, which works really, really great. So, uh, let me go ahead and stamp another image here. And oh no, danger! <laughs> I dropped the ink pad. <laughs> uh, we'll stamp the image here and. Uh, get to coloring. So. And uh, as always, if you hear noise um, in the background, it's just Oliver having a party. So I'm going to put on here that these are the root fronters. Shh. 
sharpened. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start um, with the grays for the bunny, and I, I don't know why I always, in each of these, color the bunny first. So let me go ahead and zoom you in so you can see. Hopefully that's focused. And they are um, a very soft, they feel very much like the Prismacolors in that they have a very soft uh, core. And it works really, it feels nice. Um, it doesn't have a lot of drag on the paper, so that's nice. I don't like using pencils that have, it's almost like they have a piece of sand, a sand stuck in the, the tip and it drags and scratches and makes a bunch of racket. Those are not very pleasant to color with, but these don't have that, so. Just get some gray down in here. And then I'll go in uh, with the mid-tone gray, add a bit of shading. And again, this is a pretty small image, but you know, this is a realistic image of what I would, something that I would stamp and color. So I felt it was just fine for testing out these pencils. And then I'll add a little bit of darker gray for these darker shadow areas. Beautiful. And then I'm going to finish it up with a little bit of the light to kind of meld those colors together. Cute, cute. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink to the bunny's nose and cheeks. This one is going to run into a little bit of a problem over here on this side. There we go. Oh, I forgot the bunny's neck. I better get some color on his neck here. We'll just go with the two, light and dark. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and color uh, the bunny's hat. So I've got three different browns here. I did pull the same colors that I used. I could tell um, by the tips of them which ones I had used because they were slightly worn down. So I was able to pull the uh, um, same colors, except for there's one color in the bunny's hat that I didn't pull correctly. And you'll see it when I show you the comparison. It's a bit of, more of a yellow brown. That's okay. Now I'll add some of the mid-tone brown. So I'm just going over a portion of that lighter area that I want to have uh, more color. And then I'll go over that with the darker brown. And then I'll finish it off by going back over the entire hat again with the light brown. And that will kind of blend those colors together. And then if I want to, I can add a little bit more depth again with the darkest brown um, to those areas I want to be the darkest.
There we go. Cute, cute. All right, on to his overalls. I have three different blues pulled out, uh, a light blue, a medium blue, and a dark blue. These uh, pencils do um, go down on the paper very smooth. Little areas like this are pretty easy to color. So now I'm going to add some of my mid blue, and this is a brighter turquoise blue, but that's okay. It'll be cute. And I'm just barely, barely touching the paper um, with this color. So now I'll go in with the uh, darkest blue and add a little more color. They keep a really nice point. Then I'll go back over to all the overalls with the light blue. And again, just very, very light pressure. And then I'll add a little bit more dark blue. <laughs> it's funny, yesterday I chose a brighter blue. So, so much for pulling out all the colors I used. <laughs> Too funny. All right. So there's his little overalls. Now I'll move on to his um, shirt. And I've got um, three different oranges here. And I do have a yellow as well for the flowers on his hat. So I'll go ahead and start with this orange, the light orange. Add a little bit more shading with the mid medium orange. And finally the darkest orange. And then I'll blend those all together again with the lightest orange. And these are such small areas you wouldn't have to do all three colors, but why not? Here we are. Now I'll go ahead and color the uh, flowers on his hat. Those are just specks of color, basically. Um, and then I'll add some pink to the center of his ears. And now I also need to color the carrots. So we will go with the, um, it was the mid orange that I used and the darkest orange. And these are such small spots. This is just fine for blending. Okay, cute as can be. So now I'll go ahead and color the ground. Um, be very different I'm assuming so I have three different browns
And now the darkest brown, add a little bit to the brown here. So here are the two bunnies. I did not pull even the same colors like I thought I did. <laughs> Hysterical. So these are um, as it, as they were used fresh from the box um, from the factory sharpen, and then here they are um, sharpened. I did get a much nicer blend on the bunny's fur, so that's nice to see. But. I think, I think they worked well in both situations. They were a little easier to control, of course, when they're sharpened, but straight from the box, they worked okay as well. Be easier to use them in a larger area um, if you didn't sharpen them first, but it's always good to sharpen them. That way you get any um, coatings that they might have over the tips um, taken off of there. So really, really cute. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with these pencils actually. Um, so I can see me uh, using them in upcoming projects. And um, I think you'll be seeing more colored pencil techniques from me as well, incorporating them with alcohol markers and things like that to add more detail. So hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much, Lisa, for the request. And uh, everybody have a wonderful evening. Talk to you later. Bye.